Hey, how are you guys? This will be the final guide in the hybrid tutorial series. The developer of hybrid is constantly changing the layout of the GUI and I'm unable to keep up with it. So as a result, I am currently in the process of developing my own GUI based program that consists of similar features as hybrid. Be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so that you won't miss the first video about it. Before we get started in this video, I must first explain the differences in grain and noise as they commonly get confused. Grain is added for texture in the video whereas noise is the interpretation of missing light information in the video from the camera's sensor. Noise is most commonly seen in videos or pictures shot in low light. Although both grain and noise appear to look the same, please be aware that this guide will only remove noise in the video. Please also be aware that this guide is most ideal for light noise removal only. With that being said, if you haven't done so already, make sure you have hybrid installed. You can find hybrid at solar.de and in the downloads page. After downloading, go ahead and install it onto your computer using the provided setup wizard. After installing and opening hybrid, this window should appear. Before we do anything, select the video you want to denoise by clicking the input file selection icon in the top right corner. Next, ensure that X264 and pass-through all is selected in the video and audio processing section and then go to the X264 tab. You'll want the encoding mode to remain on its default and disable the fast first pass option. As for your bitrate, you'll want to set this according to the video resolution and frame rate of your file. You can find a list of suggested bitrates for the most common video resolutions and frame rates in the video description. If your video doesn't match one of the options on the list, choose one that is closest. You'll also want to set the ABC profile and level according to the resolution of your video and frame rate. A list of suggested ABC levels are also provided in the video description. Next, head over to the filtering tab where you can then select AVI synth in the support drop down. Deselect the use checkbox above as we don't need a deinterlacer in this guide. Next, go to the AVI synth tab then the denoise tab. Select the denoiser checkbox and use the FFT 3D filter option. If your video consists of many dark spaces with noise, then go ahead and select the only dark checkbox as the denoiser will only focus on removing the noise in the darkest areas of the video. The Sigma options controls the strength of the denoiser tool. You don't want to set this too high else you will get a video with a lot of blocky artifacts. For most cases of noise removal, set this value between 10 to 20. All other settings can remain on their defaults. Before you encode the video, you can preview the video frame by frame by selecting the preview with ABS script to ensure that the denoising effort is done to your liking. Once you're ready for it to be encoded, you can head back to the base tab and save the output video by selecting the save output icon. Once saved, select the start encode button and wait for the encoding to finish. After it's finished, you can then see its results in the folder that you decide to save the video to. As you can see in the sample video, the noise has been removed to some extent. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to subscribe with notifications so that you won't miss the release of the new encoding applications coming soon as mentioned earlier. Thanks and I'll catch you all later.